child welcome back to the channel you know where you at if you don't know i'll tell you you're Del Chip. <coughs> excuse me Deb chanel's 40th world okay welcome family welcome on into the room okay yes we here with another video for you to stroll through honey girl nene says she got a stalker out there allegedly and that's the stalker claudia jordan yeah claudia jordan's over there on socks what socks for lord's fox so it ain't worth looking at y'all it ain't worth I, I caught a few things over there it's just where people go over there and vlog pretty much or they interview uh somewhat b b to c celebrities or whatnot and it's just they do commentary same thing like youtube pretty much just for more on a dressier side unless you got a well-rounded real uh put together um show you have on your own personal youtube uh but it's pretty much the same thing she just got a, a, a youtube show uh called fox so and she's not the only person that is over there they have different segments or in different days where different you know uh reality star celebrities go and interview uh actual celebrities that are you know in the music industry or the acting industry okay film industry okay but you know none of that's really none of my business and that's not why i came here i came here to do another video yes on nene leaks alleged, allegedly telling social media that she has a stalker and the stalker name is claudia jordan okay claudia jordan's over there clowning with funky dineva and i don't forgot what that man named um I, you know I, Dang, I can't think. He's at the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of his name. But he was married to, I think, Star Jones, the lawyer. But, you know, everybody kind of thought that he was gay. And, ah, oh, we don't know why she didn't know he was gay. But, I think his name was Al or somebody. But, anyway, if you go look at Fox O and Claudia Jordan, I'm sure it has something in there where Claudia had said something about Nene was being ungrateful and all of that and i was like "Ooh, that's piss poor and out of pocket that claudia would speak something so loudly when we all were pretty much thinking the same thing but we wasn't gonna tell nobody you know what i'm saying Cause we know nene is grieving and it seems like she had um some teary eye moments uh you know at this point where she was going off on uh, the people that had bought a bouquet of flowers and y'all go over there and watch the shade room they be uh bringing out good blogging uh things on celebrities um they really be telling the truth because if they didn't tell the truth they pretty much would get sued or something to that degree and they can't afford that so that is a good source outlet for entertainment news and celebrity uh gossip check them out in your spare time when you're not watching me or any other youtuber out there but yes honey there it go al reynolds yes that's him the one in the left that was married to star jones that lawyer and i think she was on some kind of uh show where they talked i, I can't remember but anyway claudia joy took, took to her platform which is fox so and had her two compadres they're discussing nene leaks and what nene leaks had put out there on social media now, of course, hey, Nene was a guest host over at the V103 radio station. And who knows? She might be a regular figure around there. Just depends if they want to um, use her as a celebrity gossip columnist. You know, you never know how things can shape up for you. And she seems like she like it. Or she did kind of, you know, she did well to be expected. But Claudia was over there just saying she ought to be lucky that anyone gave her anything because she's not a really like person and i'm like girl are we still salty because you only had one season with real housewives of atlanta and then you call yourself going back to la and didn't fare well because you came from LA, la to try to do something in atlanta and the different uh things you were on like dish nation they threw you off of dish nation because you were saying something about portia and the brat didn't like it or something or you was on a ricky smiley show is what it was and they were just like looking at you like you need to go because we're not feeling you 
And I think she was on um, Dish Nation, too. They didn't too much care for her. She had to leave. You know, pack a basket out. The town did not want you anymore, okay? They had regurgitated you pretty much, Claudia. So, Claudia was just really trying to say, you know, it was about Greg. It wasn't about Nene. Well, honey, when you see Greg, you see Nene. When you see Nene, you see Greg. And both of them are united front, and they went hard for one another. So, <laughs> there should not have been any uh, separatism that you were trying to give. Or anybody, at, at, you know, for a matter of fact, period. Nene was just Nene. And Greg knew what he had. What? Uh-huh. Okay. okay, that was my daughter bothering me. Y'all, sorry about that. But, yeah. And I'm like, well, her uh, YouTube channel must not be doing real well. If she had to sit there and try to poke fun at and say some disparaging words out loud where people can hear it. And form an opinion about it and really making her look stupid you know don't bring out people faults when you know they have been through some bad dealings you know what i'm saying because when you experience death and, and it's something or someone you really loved um it's an it's 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 an unimaginable the loss that you feel and how you can definitely feel like something was ripped out of you. You know, it's it's one thing to divorce a person and you can still see them. But to divorce a person, get back with them and try to have a life together. And then you lose them by natural circumstances, you know. Uh, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. And unless you've been through it, uh, experienced some type of loss in your life. Whether it was an animal or a human being that you really, 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 really deep in your bones absorbed them and had so much love and adoration for them, you would never know. You would never know. So it was just a poor taste that Claudia would find the time to get two people on her side and try to pick at what Nene was saying regarding the flowers regarding Cynthia Bailey not showing up and showing out and being there for her uh and the whole nine yards it's like okay girl what is your claim to fame what do you plan to get out of this uh because you're trying to throw salt at Nene's door but how does that make you look when you're talking about somebody that has just experienced a great deal, a great loss? You know, you're hitting a person when they're already down. That's not a good look, Claudia. Not a good look at all. So, me personally, I just think it was bad taste. You don't uh, bring up somebody's faults when they're already down. And You know, you want to kick them more down than what they are? You know, just let that person vent and let the chips fall where may, they may if it's not resolvable after her grieving period is over. You know, six months to a year, that's pretty good. You know, you should have come back to some normalcy or some type of normalcy you're building for yourself from that person not being in your life no more. Because believe it or not, life does go on. It don't stop for heartache. It doesn't stop for bereavement it don't stop for sickness it continues to roll 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 okay and um if somebody knows how to stop time please include me okay so i can have a little bit more time with my son but it just is what it is it's life we're not here to spend an eternity here we just souls passing through this plane of existence and we end up somewhere on the other side yes but uh yeah claudia i feel this was it's, it's terrible 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 and she put she she put emphasis on something that should have had no emphasis emphasis on uh emphasis on uh it was lackluster lack of character and it tells a lot about her and what she would do to bring a lot of attention to her uh panel over there and like i said it's just, just 
it's distasteful. This stuff left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, of her trying to come after somebody that definitely is going through. Uh, they don't look well. They look exhausted, look tired. And it's probably because that she's been crying, you know. And, you know, I'm all for her selling that man. So she might have to put it on the market a little cheaper to get rid of it. I'm just saying. And, you know, she just needs to, you know, get her a new space that she can call her own without all of the uh memories and uh the things she have to look at on a daily basis that used to be you know a part of her life with greg but that's all i have for this video y'all it's kind of uh cut and dry uh, uh mama may hell it's kind of cut and dry uh you either gonna go to one side or the other um and you just have to let the cookies fall where they may on this situation and shout out to the jasmine brand i used that clip of her pictures because i just had to show you know claudia was closing up to nini when she was you know being a part of the housewives or, or being her first season on the housewives see that's another good picture and then you're gonna come and talk about them like a dog after she down i mean that's like kicking that's just inhuman to kick somebody when they down wait until they get healthy and, and alive and, and on point okay I'm like, girl, that just shows a lot about your character. Because I know her and Candy used to get into it all the time. When Candy first got on the show, Kanini always was up in her face, talking loud. And Candy was like, I can't stand all that loud talking. You need to bring that shit down real quick before I go off on you. <laughs> I remember that. I'm like, girl, old school coming from old school. I mean, new school coming from old school. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. But that's all I have for this, this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. Okay? You know I be pumping them out every day. All right? So, uh, definitely share my videos. Share, share, share is caring. And like my videos. And I will see y'all next time. Have a good evening. Good night.